My friend Jose and his son Brian are coming over to pick up Wally a little bit later today. You might remember that Brian is the one who takes care of their chickens. A little while back, he got one of our other roosters. This is a Polish rooster. He's kind of funny looking, sort of stands out because of his hairdo. He gets a little picked on too. Wally was their favorite rooster, and now we're going to go ahead and give him to them. While we're waiting for them to get here, I wanted to talk about something else. We've started fermenting our chicken feed. I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now, and it's been going pretty good so far. It's kind of hard to judge at first exactly how much feed to ferment, but I think I've got it dialed in now. We're using the three bucket system because the fermenting process takes about three days. I've got a rock that I just put right on the top of the bucket that I'm going to be using next. And when I do use it, I just move it over to the next bucket. I'm not going to talk about any of the science of fermenting because I don't really know that much about it. Something about sugars and enzymes or bacteria or something. Anyway, the bottom line is there's two reasons to ferment your chicken feed. It saves the money and it's better for the chickens. The process somehow makes more nutrients digestible for the chickens so you can feed them less. There are a couple of downsides. You kind of have to babysit these things. Check on them maybe a couple times a day, make sure they're not too dry. You need to have water to keep the process going. There is a little bit of a smell. It's not a real bad smell, it just kind of takes a little getting used to. And I'd have to say it's just a little more gloppy to work with. Having that chicken feed be gloppy is actually one of my main benefits. I was using the dry pellet food in their feeder inside the coop and they were just wasting so much of it. The dry pellets that I was feeding to them in the coop, they would just kind of scratch and peck at it and spill half of it on the floor and it didn't look like they were eating it up later. They just kind of poop on it and ignore it after that. Wait for me to give them more fresh food. I really like this gloppy fermented feed because it stays put in their container and they eat it all. It doesn't get scattered hither and yon and mixed in with the, the bedding pellets that we have in the coop. We are on Oregon City water here. That means our water is chlorinated. That is not good for fermenting chicken feed. I just fill this water pitcher and this bucket up the night before. That lets all of the chlorine evaporate away and this water is available to top off those buckets whenever I need to. From what little research I've done on the internet, you're not supposed to put the lids on super tight, but we have a real serious squirrel problem out here and I don't want the squirrels getting into this feed. So I bought these screw on lids and I don't screw it down all the way. I'd say this looks pretty good and this is the next one I'm going to be using. I just take my handy stir stick and kind of poke into it. I'd say that's about the right consistency for what I'm going to be using right now. Feel free to tell me if I'm doing this wrong, but I don't think you want the feed to be real soupy when you give it to them. So day three, day two, day one. Day two. Looks pretty good. I can still see some bubbles working in there. I might give it a little bit more water. Just covering it up. And you can see bubbles happening in there. That's just evidence that the process is working.
Day number one could probably use a little more water too. It's about time to feed the chickens. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm not worried about any of the residue in there. That just kind of acts like a sourdough starter. give them a little bit of their dry food inside the coop. are noisy chickens. I'm happy to report that the rooster that Brian took earlier, they were successful in breeding them and have hatched out several baby chickens. I forgot to mention, Brian is also going to be taking one of our rabbits. I don't know which rabbit, I'm just going to let him pick his favorite. In fact, if he wants to take two, that's even better as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Come on, Niels. Hey, where's Mama? I'm going to get the chicken. These are green beans with the seeds that we've saved removed. Some of them are just mushy green beans. No, some of them are so I picked them a little too early to so take the seeds out. But they're still too big to eat really. Be very good, so the chickens will like them. It's the next day. Jose and Brian weren't able to make it yesterday. They're coming over today to get Wally and that rabbit. I'm not trying to look too cool for school. I just had an eye appointment and they use those drops to dilate my pupils. So I don't really want to just squint through the rest of this video. 
while I'm waiting for them to show up, I've got some hay to unload. ¿Quieres un cage de este o te gusta aquel cage? Mm. The difference in uh, the cages that I've experienced, mm -hmm. this one is super easy to clean mm -hmm. because you just pull the trays out and, you know, compost or whatever, put it straight into the garden for the, yeah. the rabbit poop. Um, it's harder to see the rabbits in here because mm -hmm. they've got little, you know, privacy cubby holes mm -hmm. to hide in. So it might be more fun with a more open cage. Mm -hmm. The roof is nice because it'll help keep them a little bit dry. Mm -hmm. We keep ours under the carport there, which keeps them mostly dry. But we've also put those uh, plastic lids over the top just to keep them, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit, a little oh, bit drier too. This day? Okay. He says this is probably going to be easier for him because right. he he, he takes care of all the chickens and yeah. animals. Yeah. So we'll load that up. Great. Maybe we can just take the chicken and, and that. <laughs> you can, absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not? <laughs> Most of your goats are gone. We harvested three of the goats. Yeah. So it's a lot quieter over here now. Quieter. A lot more space. Yeah. It's better for the remaining goats. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Wow, yeah, lots of chickens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a funny looking one. <laughs> I, I gotta look. All right, I'll let you grab him. Very good. Don't worry about the cage. Oh, it's okay. That's a good idea to use the uh, rabbit cage to yeah. transport the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey guys, how are you? That is Clyde. How are you, Clyde? Clyde's kind of the dominant goat in there right now. Yeah. Oh, he's a dominant one? Yeah, he's, he likes to... He's the boss. He likes to have his own side for the feeder and shove all the other goats away from it. Yeah. <laughs> so the feathers on his head will grow back. He tends to get picked on, like I said, so it's really easy for the other chickens to kind of pluck his head a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Um, Emily wanted to come in... Uh... <clears throat> Emily's and your daughter? Emily, yeah, yeah a little yeah. seven-year-old. She wanted to come and, and see him, and, or, or the rabbit. But yeah. she said, no, I'll stay home, and you need to surprise me. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> so oh, yeah. she wants to be surprised. Is it we this one? Go, either way. That one? Okay. I got a little fuerte. Good. Nice. Yep. So where does the water go in here, and, and where I'll, does the food go? Yeah, I'll give you some uh, some waters. The food, just you know, in the little okay. trays here. I'd just probably there. clean that out. It's okay. a little bit old in there; hasn't been used in a little bit. And the waters. Let's just grab his uh, his water here, so and you can just, take this with you. It just hangs. It just hangs off the. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. So it just goes kind of in like that. And you can straighten it up and do. Oh, and that's it? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, real easy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, water. Got some new digs. <laughs> He's excited. Yep. And this has been here for a while. It's a little dirty and dusty yeah. in there. So. Yeah. Wow. Probably the easiest thing would be to move um, this whole part mm -hmm. into your truck. Mm -hmm. And then this whole then part the into the truck separately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, throw the, yeah. throw the cases yeah, in there the too. Yeah. The bins okay. in there. Yeah. Let's move it. Right. Let's see if you got it. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Brian, abre la puerta. Does this tire move? Yeah. Okay. Skip steer tire. So now here's an angle I've never seen before. The bottom side of a chicken. Boy, it is dirty down here. <laughs> now, when you get home, if you decide you want a female rabbit to go with a male, it's there. Yep. These are females? Yes. Side? Yep. Well, both of those are females. Uh -huh. And uh, Hershey here is a female. Oh. The, the uh, gray one? The uh, black one. Oh, good. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Perfecto in Spanish. I am very glad that Rascal is going to a good home and Wally is going to a very good home too. So yes. Thank you for taking care of him. <laughs>